If there is one thing that a lot of people wish for, it is to get rich suddenly. Even though we know that the chances are low, somewhere in our head, we hope that a wealthy friend or relative of ours would one day decide to give us some money, or we could win the lottery or competition, etc. While those aren't impossible, the chances of them happening are minimal. I mean, life is more about intentionality than luck. However, this is not to say that you can't get rich all of a sudden. Of course, several people become overnight successes. So, say you find yourself in a situation like that, where you inherit a piece of land worth millions, or you get picked in the raffle draw, etc. What do you do next? I bet you had never given it some serious thought before now, because while this can be exciting, a sudden windfall can be a blessing, but also land you in a minefield of questions and anxiety, or leave you at the mercy of swindlers. So, how do you handle and sustain such wealth, considering that you have never managed one before? Do you employ the service of a financial advisor? Do you invest the money or do you start a business with the money? Which is it going to be? In this video, I'll share with you 13 things to do if you get rich all of a sudden. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Do not announce it to others Yes, it is tempting to tell everyone around you of this blessing that has just hit you. But do not fall into this trap. Keep your mouth shut. Behave like the rich. Only broke people make noise about the little money that they have. You see, the moment you announce to everyone that you are now a millionaire, well, half of the entire money will be gone before you get a chance to think and make a plan for it. A private lifestyle should become your new normal. You can watch the 13 things to change when you become rich. Link below to understand the kind of lifestyle expected from you now. 2. Do not quit your job yet. Yes, you have enough money to take care of yourself and your family members, but that's not a reason to quit your job just yet. Until you have a proper goal and plan for your wealth, or until you can come up with working strategies to sustain your wealth, don't go quitting your job. Also, the thing is that humans are wired to be productive, so no matter how lazy you are, if you are jobless or without any goal to pursue, you'll end up squandering that fund. So keep your job and go about your daily activities. Don't be in a hurry to kiss your boss goodbye. 3. Pay your debts if you have accrued debt in the past, well, now is an excellent time to pay it off. The last thing you want to do is play with something that will mess up your credit rating score, your goals, and your mental health. So, as soon as the money gets into your account, settle your debt first. A part of your debt includes paying your tax. 4. Get a financial advisor if you do not have one yet. If you do not already have a certified financial advisor, now is the time to get one. In getting an advisor, Ensure that you avoid penny stockbrokers or people who try to sell you complex financial products that are hard to understand with high commissions. A good financial advisor would know the best mix of stocks, bonds, and other assets appropriate for you. They will be a part of your budgeting process and also help to set proper expectations of what your assets can do for you. They are there to help you avoid making terrible financial decisions. 5. Let the money sit for a while. Once you're done settling your debts, let the rest of the money sit for a while. Do not spend a penny from it. Here's why. The reason you are leaving the money for a period is to help you figure out what's next. You see, your whole life will be affected by this change. It is important to determine the kind of effect you want it to have in your life. Here's what you should do. Leave the money in your account for at least 6 months. Between this period, you'll find out that you'll keep coming up with different ideas on how to spend the money. You know you've always wanted this kind of opportunity to be able to do those things that you've always dreamed of. But, you need to take it one step at a time. Resist the initial urge to make a quick decision and take time to make wise financial plans. 6. Do not start a business yet Yes, you've always wanted to start a business of your own and become the boss of yourself. However, the truth is, 8 out of every 10 businesses fail. You see, there's a lot to business than our superficial knowledge of the subject. It takes more than luck to run a business. It requires a lot of hard work, education, perseverance, discipline and expertise in a field to build a business. So already, you've exhausted your luck getting the money from the first place. Don't push it way too far. 7. Do not invest in a family or friend's business. Investing is something you will be doing with the money when the time comes, but surely not your family or friend's business. It's like this. Your family and friends know that you now have some money that you didn't earn yourself. Somehow, they'll feel like they also deserve a share of that money. Suddenly, Everyone will start coming up with a new project venture, ideas, or problems that only money can fix. So, this is where you have to make wise financial decisions. 
Investing in family members' business means saying goodbye to the money because in most cases, they don't plan on returning the money. 8. Invest in yourself. Self-growth and development will help you sustain this new wealth status of yours. Otherwise, you'll lose it all before you know it. You need to learn before you spend. To build wealth, you need to learn how to grow money and understand how money works before moving it around the whole place. I'm pretty sure that you are going to invest at some point, take calculated risk and do all that, but how can you make an informed decision when you haven't trained yourself? So, before you go ahead to spend the money, invest in your growth. 9. Learn more about calculated risk and then invest. Six months after you get the money, you are ready to spend it. You are ready to start acting and executing your financial plans. The question is, how are you sure your decision is wise? Your choice of investment, what makes it a smart one? Is it because every other person says so? Or you have done enough background checks and research to help you make that decision? Is that risk worth taking or not? How do you know the best path to take now? It's all in your hands. Learning about how to take calculated risk will help you make wise financial decisions with your financial advisor. Yes, they are there to help you make your choices more straightforward, but no one will make those choices for you. They can only advise you. It's in your hands to take the step. Hence, the need to learn about taking calculated risks. 10. Get comfortable. At this point, you know what? You deserve to take good care of yourself and you should do just that. If you need to get a much more comfortable home or a car for easy transportation, then go right ahead. But do not waste money going for the most expensive things because a part of you can't wait to show off your wealth. Leave out the fancy or flashy items. You don't need them. The goal is to fix things up to a better state, not remodel your entire life and make it look like how you think you should live. 11. Focus on getting healthy. Now that you have money, your connection should be how to live enough to enjoy it. It's time to pay attention to your health. Eat healthy meals and enroll in a gym for any fitness program available. You should also make it a habit to drop by at the clinic as often as possible for checkups. 12. Create a budget that you can live with. Creating a budget is more or less like setting a financial plan for a period. So, when you set a budget and make contingency plans for when things may go wrong, you'll maintain adequate income for many years. 13. Master the game of money. The money game is a game of making your money work for you. Your money should generate more money for you so that you don't have to worry about your future needs. Say you got $1 million, put it into any convenient investment plan of yours and only spend the returns on it. If you do that, it means that you will have your $1 million forever while it generates the money that you will be spending from time to time. So, see the $1 million as a tree and the returns as a fruit. It is not wise to cut off the tree at any point just to make temporal firewood out of it when you can nurture it well enough to keep enjoying the fruits from it for as long as it shall live. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.